In the studio today, we've got Steve Early. Steve is a lecturer here at ACM who specializes in practical spirituality. So Steve, tell us a little bit about yourself. My uh, wife is Australian, married to an Australian. We have two daughters, at this point two teenage daughters. We had, uh, my wife and I had a career as missionaries in East Africa, in Ethiopia, for over 20 years. And taken together with uh, time that I worked in West Africa in agricultural development, I spent something like 25 years working, living and working in Africa. And that obviously has shaped a lot of my thinking about this subject as well as, as who I am as a, as a follower of Christ. What is social justice and why are you so passionate about it? In my time in Africa, one of the things that I often experienced as a foreigner was the, the generous hospitality of Africans. As a foreigner, uh, visiting, traveling, visiting families, uh, working in the countryside and so forth, Africans were always very quick to show generous hospitality. They always brought out their best and they always showed very friendly, uh, open hospitality to me uh, as a complete stranger and even as a foreigner. And I was intrigued by that. It's a deep cultural value in the way that they live and the way they're brought up. They always gave me their best. And that was important to them, partly because as a foreigner and as a visitor, there was a sense in which I, I actually brought honor to the family by visiting them. But there was also a, a sense in which they were aware of the fact that as a foreigner, I was cut off from my family, from my community, from my base of support. And they have a great sensitivity to the, the obligations to care for those who are cut off from their own natural support and so forth. To me, that became a real picture of what living justly is about and, and kind of at the heart of what so many of the biblical injunctions about justice and, and practicing justice are all about. This course also deals with personal stewardship. So what's the link between social justice and personal stewardship? The choices that we make, what we do with the things that we have, for most of us are based on an underlying assumption that we own those things. The wealth, the resources, material resources, the things that we have, we tend to think of ours perhaps or most likely because we feel we've earned them in some fashion. Uh, we've worked for them, they're ours, and we own them. But the biblical picture of all of that, and it's not just our material wealth, it's literally everything that we have. Our training, our education, our experience, our opportunities, even the relationships we have, as well as our material wealth, all have their source in God. And if those things come from God, then the very next question for us should be, what does God want me to do with those things? And how we practice a sensitivity, an awareness of what's important to God, and then how we demonstrate that with the things that he's given us, I think is in many ways the best picture, the best example of what it means to live justly, to practice justice to do the things which are right before God and, and make our relationship with God uh, right, in a sense, but also right in relation to other people who benefit from our sensitivity to the things that are important to God. So stewarding the things that God has given us uh, and, and everything comes from him in the first place with an awareness of his purposes for us is to me the relationship between stewardship and justice. Thank you, Steve. You've definitely whet our appetite. Now let's get into some study.